Hey everyone, here's a look at our photo film transitions After Effects template. We're super excited to showcase this new pack of over 35 film frame collage transitions using both 35 millimeter film frames and medium format 120 millimeter photo film frames. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use this template where you can customize the motion graphics templates and re-export them for Premiere Pro or export the transitions and use them in any other video editing software of your choice. Let's jump in. So once you download and unzip the pack, you're going to get these four folders. In the first folder, you're going to get the After Effects project template. Then you're going to get the assets folder of all of the photo film frame PNGs and placeholder images that we use to build the After Effects template. Folder three is your motion graphics templates for Premiere Pro. I did the previous tutorial on that. That's a quick tutorial to follow along and see how easy it is to use these in Premiere Pro. And then the fourth folder is all of our camera sound effects that you can use to add sound design. Let's go ahead and open up our After Effects template. And here we are. So you're gonna get the assets folder and this is all your photo film frames and image placeholders. This is the new comps folder is all of the transitions. So we have two frame transitions, three frame transitions and four frame transitions. And then the pre comps folder where you can easily just drag and drop your image or video of choice into these placeholders and it will automatically register in the transitions. So let me show you how to easily just edit these and use them. I have photo film transition 27 up and this is the quick in and out of the transition. What you will do is simply these blue layers are the placeholder pre comps. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and click on the assets folder, click command I or go up to file and import files. We'll go ahead and import some images. Here they are. And what I'm gonna do is just click on each one of these pre comps and just drag the image on top of the placeholder image. I think most importantly, you just wanna make sure that your image covers the image below and that it fits the comp size. So I've done that for placeholder two. And as you can see, that automatically registers right here. I will just click on each one of these blue layers and drag and drop in the image on top of it. Click back out to the main composition, back here to this one. There we go. And the fourth and final image. Let's grab this one. Drag and drop it on top, click back out. And there you go. You've automatically replaced all the images in the transition. That looks great. And if you want to move around any of these frames, you simply click on the green frame layer and you can move them around wherever you want, right? You're not locked into any position. You can do that with every single one. And the media placeholder image will stay directly within whatever frame it is linked to. That's it. That's how easy it is to use. To export, you're simply gonna go up to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. You can click on your best settings, leave this, leave everything as is, click OK. Then click on your output module, click here. And under your audio output, click off. Then under your video Kodak format, click QuickTime. Change your format from Apple ProRes 422 to Apple ProRes 4444, click OK and then change your channels to RGB plus alpha and click OK. And alpha, you're gonna render out the transparent background so that you can easily drag and drop this video clip onto your timeline in your edit software. And then outputs is just going to be the folder that you want to export to. So I'll send it to the desktop, click save, and then click render. That will render real fast and you can drag and drop that MOV file into any video editing software of choice. So that's how easy it is to edit and customize these transitions in After Effects. 
And let's go ahead and say that you actually want to edit these transitions and re-export them as a motion graphics template. What you wanna do is go up to your window, Essential Graphics, I'll pop it open right here. And then since we are editing transition number 27, you wanna click on the primary drop-down menu and scroll to 27. Now here are all the motion graphic template parameters and controls that are built out and you get in Premiere Pro. And from here, let's say that you wanna lengthen the duration of these transitions transitions from one and a half seconds to two and a half seconds. So you're gonna press Apple K. This will open up your composition settings. And then under the duration, instead of one and a half seconds, we will do two and a half seconds. And then back on the timeline, press minus or plus to zoom in and out. So here we have the additional one second long in the timeline. You want to select all of your layers and simply extend them to the end. And then these are all your animation out keyframes. And you can simply select them all and move them to the end. And now you've just lengthened the duration of your transition. You can make it as long or as short as you want it to be. You have complete control over that. And then from there, you can simply go up to your essential graphics panel, make sure that your primary is selected on the current transition composition that you're working in. And if you want to rename it, you can rename it here, right? You can say 27.2 and then click export motion graphics template. Click save, click OK, choose the folder that you want to send it to. I will go ahead and just send it to the desktop. Okay, it'll render out just where you sent it to. And you can re-import that motion graphics template directly into Premiere Pro and use it just like we did all the other ones in the previous tutorial. So have fun with this. We're super excited about this one and using it in our own edits for client projects. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.